So have you ever sent an email when you were feeling angry and then looked at it the next day and really regretted it? Or maybe you know someone who's gotten a tattoo of their boyfriend's name and then they broke up six months later. These are examples of our emotions getting us into trouble. Another example is maybe you've taken a job that you knew you had no passion for um, and then you started the job and you hated it. This is an example of our reasoning system getting us into trouble. We can think of ourselves as having these two systems, an emotional system and a reasoning system. And thinking about these systems can actually help us improve our everyday decision making. And, and knowledge of these systems can help us basically live better lives. So think of our emotional system. It automatically processes the data of our experience. Um, it processes our thoughts and our sensory input, and it produces things like fear, greed, love, lust. We also have a reasoning system. Our reasoning system helps us analyze the data of our lives. Uh, we plan with it, we deduce, um, we, uh, we actually use it in a very conscious fashion. When we use our reasoning system, we f view it as us being in control. And both of these systems evolved over very, very long time spans. Those of our ancient ancestors who were able to leverage these systems were the ones that were able to pass on their genetic material through the generations, and they were ultimately the ones that ended up surviving. Our emotions have a purpose. Anxiety helps alert us to danger. Anger helps prepare us for fights, and also shows our adversaries that we're not ones to be trifled with. On the other hand, our reasoning also has an evolutionary purpose. It helped our ancient ancestors problem solve. It helped them do things like figure out how to make clothing, how to fish, how to hunt, uh, even how to make fire. So the world we live in today is very, very different than our ancient ancestral environment. Uh, what was useful for passing on genetic material 100,000 years ago can actually be actively harmful today in helping, helping us accomplish our goals that we care about. And so because of this, we can have emotional misfires, uh, whereas a little bit of sadness can help us value the things that we lose. Excessive sadness can turn into depression, which can be destructive and ultimately counterproductive. We can also have reasoning misfires as well. Instead of just using reasoning to analyze data and figure out the truth from it, we can analyze in a biased fashion to justify what we already believed. We can rationalize bad decisions we've made and uh, and ultimately, in order to understand uh, how to use these systems to our advantage, we have to understand how these two different systems work. Um, and not just how they work, but how they actually ultimately interact with each other. Uh, because these systems are not independent from each other. Our emotions alter the way that we are able to reason, and our reasoning actually affects the way that our emotional systems operate. So let's take an example. Uh, when we're feeling anxious, if we're asked to predict how, how likely a negative event is to occur, we'll actually tend to overestimate that chance. And if we're feeling vulnerable, research has shown that we actually tend to make logical connections between things that are not actually connected to each other. On the flip side, our reasoning can actually alter the way that we, um, the way that we experience our emotions. If we're about to get onto a roller coaster and we're feeling afraid, we can remind ourselves that it's safe and that actually people ride it every day. By thinking about these different systems, we can learn very important things, such as that we shouldn't reason when we're feeling emotional. Uh, that because emotion actually alters our reasoning system, we should reason from a neutral point. We can also reflect on the fact that the, our emotional system was designed with evolution in mind, the purpose of survival, and it's actually telling us valuable information. So when we see our emotions hitting us, we should think about what data is it trying to convey to us. We also can think about the fact that reasoning can actually be used to improve our emotions when they go haywire. Um, we can actually tweak our emotional responses to things using techniques like cognitive therapy and make them more productive and more helpful. Finally, we can think about how reasoning itself actually can go haywire. How a lot of the way that we process data every day is actually faulty. Drawing false connections, making logical fallacies, and by learning about the way that this misfire occurs, we can improve it. Ultimately, we need both of these systems. They're both fundamental parts of us, and thinking about how these systems works can allow us to use them better.